Hey, what's up, guys? It's your friend, Fast Eddie. And I uh, just wanted to show you a few things that I've gotten in over the past week or two. Uh, a few Blu-rays and then a few pretty cool collectibles that I've been wanting to get. So uh, let's go through some Blu-rays real quick here. Uh, first one, side effects. This is a great flick here. Got a ton of people in it. And uh, just really cool uh, type thriller, I guess. But anyway, great flick, side effects. Up next, Grown Ups 2. I still haven't watched this. I've heard horrible things about it, but uh, the first one made me laugh out loud a few times, so I figured I'd give this one a chance, and for five bucks, why not, right? Third one, Safe House. Great action flick here. I'm not a big Ryan Reynolds fan, but uh, he actually did really good in this movie, and uh, yeah, like I said, worth another five bucks. Third one, Intruders. I loved this movie, man. I thought this was great. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Good flick. <laughs> five bucks again. I get a lot of these uh, used from uh, Family Video, and uh, they only charge two bucks for shipping, no matter how big or small the order, so uh, it's definitely worth it, man. They send out good copies of the movies, as you can see. They're all pretty clean, and, you know, all have the covers and stuff like that on them, but yeah. Here's Intruders. Very cool. Clive Owen, great flick. Next two are some indie films that I absolutely fell in love with when I saw them on Netflix. The first one is Extract. Man, uh, this movie cracked me up. I was laughing the whole way through this movie. Um, it's from Mike Judge, obviously, you know, it says right there on the front, the guy did Office Space, Beavis and Butthead, most of you guys know that, but, uh, it's got a ton of people in here, um, a bunch of cameos, but, as you can see right there on the front, Jason Bateman, Mila Kunis, Kristen Wiig, got Ben Affleck in it, uh, just a ton of people in here, I'm telling you, man, if you guys haven't watched this already, at least watch it on Netflix, I'm telling you, it's, it's a great film, it is freaking hilarious. And then the last for the Blu-rays, another one that I thought was awesome after watching it finally on Netflix. It was on in my uh, queue forever, and I finally watched it, and it was awesome. And that is Bernie with uh, Jack Black. This is kind of like a, uh, I guess they say a dark comedy, but uh, Jack Black is outstanding in this film. The role that he took on of, of this guy is just absolutely amazing, and he... <laughs> It just kind of blew me away with it. Anyway, it's called Bernie. If you guys haven't seen it, like I said, it is on Netflix. Go ahead and check it out. But um, honestly, I think it's worth buying it on uh, Blu-ray, obviously. So if you happen to come across it, maybe even used or cheap enough, go ahead and pick us up, guys. I don't think you'll be disappointed in it. Um, you can see there, too, it's also got Matthew McConaughey and uh, Shirley MacLaine in it. So uh, it's got a great soundtrack, too, as well. So, uh, yeah, definitely. It's probably one of my favorites of the year, I, uh, actually. That and uh, Extract were both uh, great flicks. But uh, anyway, that's it for Blu-rays. I'll show you some of the cool collectibles I got in just one second. Alright guys, so next up, I uh, came across a bunch of these uh, Lost Bobbleheads, the uh, Dharma Initiative ones. And uh, I'm sure you guys have heard me say how much of a huge fan I am of Lost. And I always wanted these and the prices finally started coming down on a few of them. Uh, at least these ones anyway. Uh, I think I got most of these between 10 and 15 bucks a piece, which is pretty cheap. I really want to get uh, Jack and Sawyer, but they're so hard to find. Uh, I think there's one of each on eBay right now. And, uh, you know, you can't do a buy it now thing. You got to bid on them. So I'm uh, really waiting to see how high those ones go. Anyway, you see the ones that I picked up. Obviously, I had to get uh, Hugo or Hurley. I love these boxes. They're going to stay in the boxes, of course. I just love it because it's got all the uh, Dharma stuff on them. So cool. And, of course, you get lost down here. Now, they all do come on, like, their own little... I'm not going to be able to pick that up. Little separate stands, like... Uh, Hugo's one on the bottom says Mr. Cluck's Chicken. And then you get uh, Desmond, and he's on the uh, computer, you know. Awesome. Of course, uh, you got Dr. Halliwax. And then... Dr. Leslie Arts. It's pretty funny. He's holding the uh, stick of dynamite. I don't think I'm going to pick any of them up, but I just, uh, even the boxes are just so freaking cool, man. And then uh, last over here, we got Claire. And she's holding the little, like, uh, stuffed thing that she made look like a baby. But uh, yeah, there's the uh, bobbleheads. I love these things. Like I said, I really want to get Jack and Sawyer. And then I also have the. Um, figurines coming in i believe they're like either the seven or eight inch tall ones but uh yeah man i love these things anything lost or dharma i'm all over that but uh <laughs> i did get a few more things in as well the uh lost and uh dharma trading cards 
I've really gotten into them. I have to pick the camera up for this one, so forgive me if it gets a little bit shaky. But, uh, yeah. I just made up a little folder here to put all the uh, trading cards in. Just put a little piece of paper into a binder. You know, that looks like the uh, Dharma Initiative Operations Manual and put it on the side there as well. Just a cool little touch, I think, for the cards. I won't go through all of these guys because I did wind up picking a uh, ton of these up. But uh, just open it up here. I got seasons one through five. And then uh, the, um, I can't remember what the other two sets were called. It's like Revelations or something like that. But all the cards are great, man. And they all have little, like, stories on the back of them. And uh, just great pictures. Uh, most of it's really nice printing. Yeah, see, and then you get a separate card for each one. Like, obviously, you know, one, two, three, four, all that good stuff. But, yeah, <laughs> I've been busy trying to track down some uh, some trading cards. And then I just put, like, a little uh, sheet in between the sets. So, uh... I don't want to drag this out forever, but, uh, you know, put a sheet here, because this is another set. There's the Revelations uh, set, and then this set here as well, which is more, uh, this one's really awesome. It gives all the real names of the cast, and uh, just really cool set. So that's uh, my Dharma cards, or Lost, whatever you want to say. It's coming along uh, pretty sweet. But, yeah, so there are my Lost trading cards. And then I also found... One second here. Some Dexter cards that I've got coming in. Now this is season four, and this one came in like a little uh, box. The rest of the seasons that I have coming in are loose, but I did make up a little uh, binder for them as well. Wait for more of the uh, uh, what are they called the little you know sheets to come in for him. But I just made up a little binder for his cards as well. Just printed that off the internet and then put a little spine down it. And uh, like I said. You know, just waiting for more of these sheets to come in. And I'll start filling this up with my uh, Dexter cards. Um, like I said, this is the fourth season. I have seasons one, two, and three coming in as well. So, yeah, man. Uh, it's uh, getting a little crazy around here with the trading cards. Because I never was, I don't know. I guess when I was a kid, I used to be in the baseball cards and stuff a lot. And then I got, I got I kind of got out of trading cards. But now that I found this one guy on eBay, he sells some really cool trading cards. Especially he's got all the Dexters and all the Losts and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, guys, there's my pickups for the past couple of weeks. Got in some bobbleheads and some trading cards. Some more trading cards. And some more trading cards. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.